Oh well, these Harriers also run out of fuel really fast as well. Huh. Yeah, if we can get our uh, planes to go into this uh, routine of flying with a slight delay, they'll be able to hit the targets just um, just after the other one has made its run, so then they'll always choose a fresh target. So that is really, really useful to know. Um, I think what would I... I you know, um, somebody, somebody has probably thought of this before, but yes, you can shell naval craft, but inside this game, it's actually just abysmally ineffective, so that's kind of the reason why I'm not doing that right now. Um, I do have artillery pieces, but shelling, like, the, the, the shells go through the actual craft. I think how the game does it is that it simulates the blast from the, uh, from the individual shell rather than the shell's effect as a whole. And what that does is that it makes it so that the shells just go right through the boats, and it, it literally does, like, no damage. So that's kind of the reason why I'm not going to use planes to, or um, artillery to take out ground targets like that. Um, what can I do here to double up on some troops? Uh, can't really, can't really do much. You know, I thought we, we had some more Royal Marines, but I guess not. These guys are actually elite troopers, so that's, that's might, might be why. Um, so I think we'll just wait until the next time they launch an attack. I mean, right now I can buy practically everything that I have. I suppose I might, might as well do it. Actually, I, th oh, I think I'll send a um, SPS squad over here to this sector because I'm under the impression that they'll actually cap it. I saw that one command squad, remember? And I'm a little worried that that squad will play um, play into an effect later on. Those APCs are gonna die. Doesn't look like there are infantry inside of them, so I'm a little worried about that. This APC can disappear. Oh, Li Jans, we need to get rid of those. Those guys are Chinese special forces. They carry napalm armed rocket launchers, so if they hit your infantry, they're gonna hit hard. Those guys, I need to call in practically the Harrier swarm on them immediately. Wait, no, maybe, no, no, they're not. Okay, good. Maybe, the, maybe like, they, the, the Chinese do have some type of infantry going along with a similar name. Maybe I'm getting my units mixed up, but they have some sort of elite infantry, which is really effective at taking out infantry. Okay, luckily I'm wrong here, and those guys aren't, aren't those types, so that's good. And that'll allow us to get our Harriers out of here, which is good. And that'll allow us to just safe them up. But those guys are still elite infantry, and it looks like they have like silenced SMG things. Huh. Kinda cool. They're out inside a field, and both of, all of our infantry are elite, so this'll, this'll hopefully just slaughter them, so that'll be good. How much are these recon units? We're at 215? Uh, I don't think that's worth a Harrier run. I think I'll get the rest of the Harriers to bombard their uh, naval craft there. Hopefully we can get some easy points out of it. Because there's only 5 minutes on the clock now, and the main thing is just nabbing up kills that we haven't gotten yet. So I feel like this is going to make a run do quite a bit of damage, and that'll be good for us. Are all of those things empty? Yeah, maybe all of them are empty now that... Um, I don't know. There's there's so many of them over there is the thing. But um, the only ones that we managed to destroy are empty ones. So maybe, maybe those marine craft are all empty. If they are all empty, the thing I'm worried about it is that... If they are, then there's no point in taking them down because the transports just regenerate after each battle. So that's sort of that. Take out those guys. Well, oh, finally found a worthwhile target. Send a horror swarm. Some AA crowd. 
Probably should have sent my planes in uh, swarms over there, but oh well. Anyhow, I think we'll just whittle down their uh, AA capacity over here. Ooh, they actually managed to get... Ah, oh, that's why they have a... AA team. Ooh, that's not gonna... That's not good. Try to suppress that AT team. Once these rockets hit, that uh, A team team should. I want. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to say that once the rockets hit, they'll be suppressed so that they can't take out my Harriers, but oh well. Got my Marines to come over here and sweep them out. We still have five Harriers, and I, th I believe we can also refit the aircraft, not just the land forces. So if the enemy does give us a break sometime soon, I'm probably going to get our guys to uh, refit the airplanes because we need those Harriers. Those things are actually invaluable inside this campaign. Come on, take out those, uh, take out those squads. How are those APCs that effective at taking out my infantrymen? There we go. And that's game. So let's see, two losses on Royal Marines. Uh, we lost one recon unit. That's pretty much it, apart from the Harrier losses. That's not too bad. Holy crap, that's a big list. And it's only 2,000 points worth. Hmm. So let's see what the naval stuff is down to. It looks like they still have a lot of stuff inside the naval category, and the na inside the naval category they do have some infantrymen. But it looks like inside this battle here, 3rd Marine Regiment is pretty much down to no infantry in the actual infantry category. So that is very, very good. Um, it's already turn 5, and we're supposed to hold on to turn um, 9, so I suppose this will be actually kind of short. Um, Pearl and the Orient LP3. So I think we'll end our turn, and we'll just we'll pretty much wait and see what they do. So, oh, 2nd Marine Regiment, I see. They're probably going to bring some troops into the back of our lines to take out Hong Kong Island. That's probably going to take two turns. Um, I don't want to waste your guys' time, but I, uh, I'm, I'm considering just seeing how long it would take for them to transport their troops into naval sector echo and then actually nora is the only or india is the only one that they can deploy in so i'm, I'm hesitant in just saying um you know fuck it wait until uh let's just see how long it takes marine regiment 2 to actually deploy but no nah, i think we're gonna not gonna do that they're gonna bring tanks over here fresh tank squadron nonetheless against my uh, phantoms and my other type of planes against our militiamen so that's kind of interesting um what else do they have so they're gonna they're gonna fight the uh, the kursk meat grinder thing over here once again and i think they're getting cut up pretty badly in tessen one over here um I think I'll wait until next time before doing this battle, but anyhow, yeah, their, their troops are completely out of morale, so we only had to do 500 points uh, worth of damage, and they're, they have they still have like 23,000 points worth of stuff here. So that'll be another meat grinder battle. A lot of infantry. They have 60 supply cargo trucks. Who needs that? 183 units of infantry, 110. Oh, they brought fresh tank reserves. Ooh, those will be good to chew up. Um, I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll just pretty much leave off here and come back next time, because right now, um, we are, eh, you know, I'm just getting a little bit tired. So I'll see you guys next time, and likewise, you know, if you haven't subscribed so far, be sure to do so, as I will be doing this campaign and one more. So, see you guys next time.